Hello and welcome to another Revit tutorial. In this video we're going to be covering Enscape 2.0, doing a beginner's guide, how to, how to download this plugin for Revit, how to launch it, and also some basic movement tools so you can get started with using Enscape for your Revit project. Right now I'm at Enscape3D.com. This is their web page. It's really good. I like the design of it. It has tons of interesting content, case studies, things like that. Up at the top, there's a gallery of uh, projects that have been used. They used Enscape 4 and other tutorials, things like that. Definitely check it out. At the bottom, there's testimonials from other users on how they've implemented Enscape in their Revit projects. So up at the top, to get started, you'll notice it says, Try Enscape free for 14 days. If you go ahead and enter your first name, last name, email, you can start a free trial. That should launch an EXE, an executable file for you to download. Alternatively, you can type in Enscape3D.com forward slash downloads. It will take you to this page. Simply click download. Uh, latest version is 2.0. Download Enscape for Revit. You'll notice your download starts down here. Once that's finished downloading, simply uh, make sure that Revit is closed for this installation. Double click your .exe, which is the executable file, and it'll ask you to install. I'm going to cancel because I already have it installed, so let's jump over to Revit and take a look. So in Revit, once you've downloaded that Enscape.exe and you've run it, it will install Enscape as a plugin for Revit. Up at the top, the ribbon on Revit, you'll notice you have an Enscape tab right here. So you can locate and, and find all the uh, buttons and commands that you'll be using with this plugin under that Enscape tab. So let's get started with making a view to go ahead and launch. Uh, simply go to any floor plan that you want to create a 3D view from. We're going to go up to the top and click View, 3D View, Camera. Click once to place the camera where you want to stand. Move your mouse in the direction you want to look. And click again, and that will create your 3D view. So when you're in a perspective view like this in Revit, if I go back to my Enscape tab, you'll notice that everything is grayed out. That's because in perspective views, you can't really use the same controls that you would in a plan or an axonometric view. Simply go back to your plan view, and once you're in plan, if you go back to Enscape, you'll notice that you have some buttons that are not grayed out. Most importantly, on the top left, there's this Start Walkthrough button. Simply select the 3D view that you want to start with. The one we just created was called 3D View 1, so I'll select that one, and then simply click Start, and it will launch Enscape for you. So once Enscape opens, you'll notice that you're standing exactly where that perspective camera was in Revit. Uh, you'll notice down at the bottom, you have this Help menu that shows you all of the different controls for Enscape. If you want to hide that, press H on your keyboard. If you want to bring it back, press H on your keyboard. On the top right, it'll tell you which mode you are currently in. Fly mode will let you do just that, fly through your model. It'll let you go through walls. Uh, walk mode is generally the one that I like to use. So pressing spacebar down here, you can see toggles fly and walk mode. I like to think of Enscape as a really smart camera that you steer through a project. If you keep that mentality, then you'll be able to pick up the navigation controls fairly quickly. Uh, so let's get started with some basic movement techniques. If you left click on your mouse and drag it left, you will look left. If you click, drag it to the right, you'll look right. It pretty much follows wherever you're using or wherever you're moving your mouse on the screen, as long as you keep that click held down. Same goes for walking. Down here at the bottom, WASD. Alternatively, you can use your arrow keys on the keyboard. I typically like to use WASD. It's a pretty comfortable placement um, of your hand on the keyboard. So W will move you forward, S will move you backwards, A left and D right. You can combine the movement tools by clicking to control your view and also walking at the same time. And notice I'm moving my mouse right as I'm walking, and I'm just steering this really smart camera through my building. I can let go of W, look up, pan around. I can move 
forward W and press D at the same time, or W and A at the same time, to kind of zigzag through the project. Uh, and those are just the basics. So practice with those a little bit, get used to the controls. The only ones I'm using right now, WASD on the keyboard and left click on the mouse. That's enough to get you started. So hopefully that's, that's a, uh, a good amount of tips for you. I hope you download Enscape. I hope you get a chance to use it on one of your projects. Tune in for the next videos where we'll get into some intermediate input commands. We'll, we'll go through changing some of the view styles so that you can use Enscape to develop really nice production renders. And uh, we'll, we'll cover a lot of cool stuff. So thanks for watching. If you have any more questions or stuff you'd like to see in another video, comment below and we'll try and get those included. See you next time.